karibu kwetu na ni vizuri tujue huyu Miriam mm-hmm. amezaliwa wapi and then to pate to basic information kuhusu uh, how you the origin of your music mm-hmm. the origin of your ministry mm-hmm. hivyo asante sana kwa fursa hii mm-hmm. um Miriam ni mkenya halisi nilizaliwa Nairobi uh, nikawa nimesoma katika shule za bweni kuanzia mm-hmm. utoto sana so maisha yangu yote nimesoma katika shule ya bweni mm-hmm primary secondary you know college kuendelea mm-hmm. uh, kwa hivyo nimeishi nimeishi Nairobi Kisumu Kisi mashule siaya nikisonga mm-hmm. <laughs> najua ukiwa boda sana mara nyingi hata uishi nyumbani unaelewa mm-hmm. yeah so um Marianne sasa katika masomo yangu nikasonga songa kwa sasa mimi ni counseling psychologist na mimi pia ni voice coach. Mm-hmm. Ulijipataje katika muziki? Asante sana kwa swali hiyo. Uh, nilipokuwa tu mdogo tu. Unajua mara mingi watu husema kila mwanamuziki usema kwamba nilianza kuimba nikiwa mdogo lakini yangu is a true story kwamba uh, nikiwa tu mdogo unajua ile mnaenda Sunday school mwalimu anauliza nani ataimbisha wimbo? Nainua mkono naanza mm-hmm. kuimbisha. So ile courage ikaanza nikiwa mdogo. Nikasonga songa nilipofika primary school na hizi vitu tunaita music festivals mm-hmm. apo pia ile ni groom sana kama mm-hmm. mwanamuziki nika lead singer katika folk songs katika set pieces nini nikasonga songa high school nikisonga of course nikaokoka nikiwa form 2 so my music ka change from kuimba kawaida mm-hmm. nikaanza sasa kuimba kama a, a worship minister oh, wow. kuanzia form 2 mm-hmm. paka sasa hivi hai sasa ukianza okay, pale high school nikusema kwamba ulijiunga na CU Yes. Mm-hmm. Yaani ilikuwa katika CU na pia tulikuwa na band. Mm-hmm. Unajua shule yetu ilikuwa very competitive mambo ya muziki. So tulikuwa vikundi vikundi walikuwa me, tulikuwa na band inajiita Golden Showers na kama kuna wenzangu wanaona wataelewa. Ni shule ni ilikuwa inaitwa Kireri Girls High School. Mm-hmm. Kireri Girls High School ndio nilisomea. Mm-hmm. Um, tulikuwa na band inaitwa Golden Showers mm-hmm. na tukawa tunaimba imba pale sana. Mlikuwa na mwalimu wa, wa muziki ama yes. vocal vocal. Tulikuwa na mwalimu wa tatu. Mm-hmm. Mwalimu wa tatu wa muziki and uh, yeah because tulikuwa tunaenda mpaka nationals katika music festivals mm-hmm. yeah so kulikuwa mziki ile ya kawaida tu ya set pieces nini ile government ime set mm-hmm. lakini kuna sasa ile ya as a, like ya, ya ibada mm-hmm. ya worship mm-hmm. yeah kabla twende katika sasa huduma yako ya mziki ni vizuri ni kuulize hili swali kwa yeah. sababu wewe mwenyewe ulianza katika kuimba ukiwa shuleni ndio na right now you told me you are a voice coach yes uki wana wanafunzi ambaye at least ako na basics za mziki. Mm-hmm. As compared to mtu mwenye hajui chochote kuhusu mziki, wewe una prefer ku train nani haraka kwa sababu wote wawili I don't think they are on the same level of music. Na mm-hmm. utatuambia kama huwa ina impact wakati ambapo mtoto maybe wakati yako shuleni akiwa na interest ya mziki pia anasoma mziki. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mimi husema yoyote anaweza zungumza, yoyote ana sauti, mm-hmm. anaweza kuimba. Mm-hmm. Sasa haijalishi level yako kwa sababu again katika mziki tuko na vitu tunaita vocal range, vocal capability tuko tofauti. Mm-hmm. So kuna watu hata hata umfunze namna gani kuna kiasi fulani atafika. Mm-hmm. Ako na boundaries zake. Mm-hmm. Lakini kuna wale hata unamswitch una kidogo tu anasonga mm-hmm. so wote mimi kama mwalimu nasema yoyote anakaribishwa tu mm-hmm. I, I, pesi ya watu ni tofauti alafu so. unajua mziki inataka tu determination tu mm-hmm. hiyo tu na discipline commitment <laughs> hivyo tu haina ujanja nyingine <laughs> nataka ku relate chenye umesema na let everything that has breath praise, praise the lord, lord. Yes. <laughs> amen and so kutoka hapo uh, ukiwa form 2 yes. ukaanza hivyo safari safari mm-hmm. did you ever get songs ukiwa shule Um, zako. Ah uh, ndio mm. uh, lakini wakati ule ilikuwa zinajiandika andika na futa na vitabu mpaka sasa hivi. Nilikuwa mm-hmm. naandika na futa. Lakini wakati the first time niliandika wimbo inaitwa Mtetezi. Mm-hmm. Mtetezi uh, wakati wa post election violence. Mm-hmm. You know tulikuwa a bit affected kidogo tukahama mahali mbio. <laughs> so nikawa nimeketi pale kwenye rock tumekwenda kule ushago. Mm-hmm. So naandika na muita Mungu ni mtetezi unatetea watu wako hata sasa hivi watu wanauana upande na upande katika nchi lakini utatetea watu wako so that's the first time nilianza kuandika sasa kabisa mpaka hivi sasa nimeandika mm-hmm. nyimbo kadhaa na wakati ambapo ulifika kurekodi yes ulianza na zile ambazo ulipata zile siku ama ulianza penye ulianzia 
Uh, unajua the, kuna kitu uh, amazing kuhusu Mungu ni kwamba vile uliamka vile ulilala jana si vile utaamka leo mm-hmm. ukiwa na relationship na God so vile nilisema kuna wakati nilikuwa naandika ile ilikuwa nimeandika tu kidogo kidogo lakini kiangalia saa hizi standard imeinuka mm-hmm. unanielewa so nikiingia kwenye recording na record sasa ile iko refined inaweza kuwa nimeboro idea kutoka vile niliandika years back lakini kwa sasa inakuwa iko katika standard nyingine. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so that is to mean kwamba wewe ndio hutunga na kuandika na pia ku, kuimba vocally. Unajua kuna watu ambao wanaimba vocally but uh-huh. sio watunzi uh-huh. na si waandishi. Kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu mimi mm-hmm. naandika nyimbo mm-hmm. na ninaimba. Actually mm-hmm. naimba sauti zote za juu za chini mm-hmm. kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mimi naandika nyimbo. Recording yako ya kwanza ulifanya mwaka gani? 2010. 2010. 2010 album inaitwa I need more. Mm-hmm. That's why naongea kuhusu levels eh. Unajua ile ile album ikoenda mbali mbali sana. Nilikuwa mm-hmm. tukatika maybe crusade mbili. Then nikafanya my next album inaitwa Mungu Mkuu mm-hmm. uh, 2016. Mm-hmm. Ikasonga songa kwenye media kidogo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sasa size niko na promise keep and you nimeanza. Awesome. Na sasa kama mwalimu wa sauti. Yes unaweza kujua kama jinsi ambavyo ulisema kuna wengine ambao hawahitaji kazi kubwa mm-hmm. unahitaji tu kumuelekeza umwambie hapa na hapa tu mm-hmm. uh, imba hivi yes. na ana flow uh-huh. imba hivi na ana flow mm-hmm. umewahi kukutana na maybe a stubborn situation mm-hmm. in terms of uh, unafundisha hivi mwenye kuimba na imba hivi ndio mm-hmm. cases kama hizo tuko nazo lakini ni chache sana mm-hmm. um, Unajua kuna wale wanaamini. Unajua uh, mimi husema kwamba not mimi husema but kuna msemo unasema kwamba jogoa wa shambani hawiki mjini. Sasa kama walimu tunasema kwamba huenda shambani inaweza kuwa kule nyumbani umetoka. Si lazima ikuusha go mm-hmm. popote. Mm-hmm. Unajua kuna mtu ametoka mahali fulani estate fulani huwa anasifika sana. Mm-hmm. Kwamba kama si we ungefika hapa ile service haingeweza. Mm-hmm. Sasa amekuwa na ile kiburi in quotes mm-hmm. like anaona ni ametosha. Mm-hmm. Lakini mziki haitaki utoshe. Hata mimi nipo ninapoketi hapa bado nahisi kwamba napaswa na ni ji ni ni ni, 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 ni ni panuke zaidi mm-hmm. kimziki mm-hmm. unaelewa so uh, ma- matters matters music inataka tu mtu anyenyeke mm-hmm. na be ready to learn mm-hmm. e, lakini kuna wale tough headed anakuja kama anajua yeye corrections hatachukua mm-hmm. lakini you see now with with discipline unajua mkiwa kwenye team and by the way my policy in teaching napenda kufunza watu kwenye teams mm-hmm. zaidi mm-hmm. kwenye teams kwa sababu people challenge each other watu wana challenge each other sasa ukiwa tough headed utajipata tu mbaki pale kwenye kona mm-hmm. attitude tu itakutoa we don't have to tell you go utashtuka tu huko kando and mm-hmm. uta realize group ina grow wewe umebaki mm-hmm. so watu tough headed wako yeah akulingana na jinsi ambavyo um, nimeweza ku interact maybe na waimbaji wengi na pia nika interact na prison worship ministers mm-hmm. kuna um, unaweza kutembea mahali na ukapata kwamba katika prison worship they are just making a joyful noise <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> na wakati mwingi sijui kama ni, ni changamoto kwa vikundi vya kanisani kuwa trained uh-huh. ama ni nini ndo shida uh-huh. kwa sababu nikisoma biblia sana huwa napata kwamba Mungu alikuwa na maagizo ya kwamba skills ni uh-huh. important sana uh-huh. mtu kuelewa anachokifanya uh-huh. na pia hata kama ni kuimba acha kuna waimbaji ambao wanatazama hapa mtu ni wa present worship na ajui wewe huwa anaimbia ki gani yes yes, ajui? yes 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 but yeye anaimba mm-hmm. is it okay ah uh, i wouldn't say whether it's okay or not but mm-hmm. i would say anyone listening to us should be encouraged to polish mm-hmm. aji polish aji polish yeah? desire to be better desire to give god the best mm-hmm. unanielewa mm-hmm. yeah so hiyo ku make joyful noise tumezisikia sana kwanza katika concert tunasikia bwana yesu asifiwe naomba msikize tu maneno msisikize sauti jamani tunataka hiyo sauti pia <laughs> they have to go together <laughs> ni they have to go, sana they have to go, they together. Have to go together please mm-hmm. it's very important again but mm-hmm. we just can't sing in sync in vocals peke yake mm-hmm. you know pia your relationship with god pia ina mata sana mm-hmm. kwa sababu mimi nasema hata niki sound vizuri aje relationship yangu na god iko aje yeah what am i giving out to the public so, na sio mziki pekee so it's a package it's a package mm-hmm. as a worship minister it's a package 
kwamba ukisonga namna hii mtu atasema huyu anakaa worship minister si lazima hata useme praise the lord mm-hmm. vile utakuwa unaongea tu na watu mm-hmm. vile utakuwa una conduct tu imetosha tu oh sam yes. na jinsi ambavyo umeeleza hapo umeniambia kwamba wimbo wako wa kwanza uliweza ku record 2010 yeah, 2010 yeah na growth yako katika hiyo miaka kwa sababu we are in 2021. Yes. That means uh, 10 years down the line mm-hmm. you've been a recording music minister. Yes. Na unaweza kuangalia na ku gauge ama ku weigh growth yako. Unaweza kuona nilitoka hapa, mm-hmm. nika, nikaenda hapa, mm-hmm. nikaenda hapa. Mm-hmm. Nini unaweza ku point out kwamba this is exactly the areas that have worked on me on myself. Asante sana kwa hiyo swala ni swali bora kabisa. Um, kando na recording sijaweka pia concentration sana katika recording kwa sababu mm-hmm. unaona kuanzia 2016 paka sasa hivi mm-hmm. ndio nina release now my nimeanzisha my third album Promise Keeper hiyo wimbo tumecheza sasa hivi. Nili drift sana kutoka kwa kukuwa an artist nikarudi huku kwa ku lead worship services. Mm-hmm. Unanielewa? Mm-hmm. So hiyo pia imenijenga kwa sababu hii mambo ya unafika mahali unasema nicheze track 3, mm-hmm. nicheze track 7 kidogo mm-hmm. naona mm. Ni heri tu yani unakuwa a live minister like una you interact with the congregation mm-hmm. and uh, your relationship with God I think hapo ndio nitasema basic mm-hmm. your relationship with God na kuji broaden to get to see wale wengine wanafanya nini wale mm-hmm. wametutangulia mm-hmm. wamekuwa kifanya nini mm-hmm. na backup ya Mungu ina kusongesha tu awesome yes. kama mwalimu sasa mm-hmm. kwa sababu katika walimu kuna mambo mengi mm-hmm. kana yani mwimbaji mbaye pia ana train <coughs> ana train vocals mm-hmm ana train mambo mengi tu ako katika safari yake ya yes. kupanuka na kukua. Yes. Anaweza kujiwekea target ama kiwango. Ajiwekee aseme kwamba in this season hiki ndicho nataka kusoma. Mm-hmm. Nataka kusoma ku hit a high note. Mm-hmm. Uh, kuweza kuimba a low note. Mm-hmm. Kuweza kuimba hivi na hivi. Mm-hmm. Anaweza kujiwekea hivyo viwango na akavipita. Ndio. Mm-hmm. Ndio. Kwa mfano, ukisikia sauti yangu naturally iko deep. Lakini Siku, siku kuna wakati sikujua ningeweza imba soprano za juu mm-hmm. lakini ukisikiza nyimbo zangu ama nikiweza cheza live uta, taona niko na hiyo variation mm-hmm. so ni vizuri kujipatia target mm-hmm. unajua kati god anasema come let us reason together he means it so ukimwambia mimi natakaa nijijenge he is faithful to do that mm-hmm. for you mm-hmm. so target ni muhimu because without a target hakuna kwenye unaenda ukikosa kuwa na target you won't know kama umefika you must set a target mm-hmm. ndio jue have i arrived Am I still meters back ama nishapita. So a target is very important. Ni vizuri sasa tuangalie mziki wako. Mm. Na utuambie inspiration yako ya kuandika mm. kwa sababu watu wa inspired na mambo mengi sana. Mm-hmm. So many things. Mm-hmm. Kuna watu ambao maybe mtu akipitia kitu hapo ndio anapata wimbo. Mwingine wakati ambapo neno linapita anapokea wimbo. Mm-hmm. Mwingine anaenda mlimani kuomba anapokea wimbo. Mm-hmm. Mwingine uh, maybe anatembea, anafanya tu shughuli zake, mm-hmm. pap, anapata wimbo. Mm-hmm. How do you get your music? Asante sana. Ana nitaanza tu straight na wimbo latest your promise keeper kwa sababu mm-hmm. tumekuwa na, na journey, it's been a journey. So acha niongelee tu my latest song kama promise keeper. Mimi ni counseling psychologist. Na kando na kuwa hiyo haikunizuia kuingia katika depression. Mm-hmm. Miaka miwili imepita. Nikawa nimepitia mambo mazito sana naona kwamba maisha maisha tena haina maana. Nikapitia mambo mazito lakini Mungu akanisaidia nikasimama tena. Mm-hmm. Unaona sasa uh, sababu hii promise keeper ilikuja wakati nilikuwa kwenye kona kabisa. Kona na maanisha nilikuwa nikianza deal hapa mm-hmm. na Oshua. Mm-hmm. Sijui nitaisemaje kwa <laughs> <laughs> no, sure nikianza deal upande huu napigwa randa nikipaa unapigwa pasi upande huu shindo ai hey, kwani hakuna watu waaminifu hapa hmm? so najipata kidogo nikaanza nikaanza katika maombi na mwambia Mungu ili kwa, kweli kuna, kutapatikana yoyote ambaye anaweza timiza ahadi mm-hmm. nasikia Mungu akiniambia na mimi niko hapa i'm your god now <laughs> mm-hmm. i'm a promise keeper and uh, through it all Mungu akanisimamisha tena and my songs vile umeuliza my songs who are Siketi atinafikiria tune ama mm-hmm. nikiwa nimeketi tu hivi inakuja na words zake tu mm-hmm. tune pamoja na but unajua now the skill of songwriting utaketi uipange 
inakuja raw copy <laughs> <laughs> iko a bit scattered mm-hmm. so you utakaiti chini uanze kusema ati goliatho aliwa daudi i know right bana <laughs> So utapketi upange because I'm a songwriter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Mungu, Mungu amenisaidia kwa sababu hiyo promise keeper nilifika mahali nilikuwa nanungunikia maisha sana. Mm-hmm. Mungu akaanza mbona nanungunika hivi? Hivi ujui mimi pia naweza naweza timiza ahadi. Mm-hmm. So yeah, ikakuja tu in, a, in an English format. Unaona? Hiyo ndio mfano kama mtetezi nimeongelea ile nilifanya kule mbele mm-hmm. nikasema vile the nature ilikuja. So my songs mostly of course kuna seasons can make you write a song mm-hmm. sometimes. Thanksgiving can make you write a song. You know uki uki marvel to the goodness of god song inakuja tu kama hii song pia i promise keeper it was just a love song to god mwimbaji asipojijua mm-hmm. atafanya kile ambacho yeye eh, hajaitwa kufanya ndio kuna mtu ambaye ame, ameitwa kuimba mm-hmm. vocally mm-hmm. asiyo lazima uwe mwandishi ndio uimbe kweli naweza kuwa vocalist yes na kuna mwingine anaandika mm-hmm. sijui a conflict ya yeah, maybe mtu kutaka kufanya vitu ambavyo hana uwezo wa kufanya mm-hmm. vina matokeo yake ni gani mm-hmm. ukijifix mahali ambapo your range haikuruhusu you'll you'll get frustrated mm-hmm. number two, you are like huenda usipeane the the, the 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 best package mm-hmm. to the world mm-hmm. you know so keeping to your range kwa mfano tunaongelea muziki sasa hivi mimi si muhubiri mm-hmm. Sidhani kama kuna wakati nitapatikana nikihubiri pengine sijui mm-hmm. mipango ya Mungu lakini kufikia sasa hivi siwezi sema ni mimi nitahubiri katika service ya afternoon mm-hmm. 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 I am not a preacher kwa mfano so unajua lane yako na unasimamia pale be the best in the lane god amekuweka mm-hmm. even ndivyo nitasema awesome na yes. unajua wakati ambapo tunasema hivi kuna wengi ambao wamekuwa wakichanganyikiwa uh-huh. kwamba because uh, i cannot um right that means i cannot sing mm-hmm. na wanaji limit mm-hmm. tu wanaji limit kwa sababu yeye kwa uhakika hajawahi construct a sentence ambayo yeah. inaweza kuwekwa melody kwa wimbo yes lakini ukimpatia uh, pambio zile za kanisani mm-hmm. ako sawa yes that is, that is to mean anahitaji mtu mwingine mwenye ana yeah. skills mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. na aweze ku, kuandika actually there is nothing wrong with asking for help mm-hmm. tuko gifted differently tuko gifted. I think there's a place in the scriptures mali inasema kwamba watu walipatiwa talanta tofauti tofauti. Mm-hmm. Kuna sababu moja alipatiwa kiwango fulani, uliona viwango viko tofauti. So yeah, God gives differently. You see, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. Because again, ukikuwa trained, mambo songwriting by the way si ngumu sana. Ukiwa trained you can catch up. Because still I'm a songwriter but you see when we go to the studios mm-hmm. wale producers wanatusaidia wanasema hapa unge ungekata hii kona namna hii mm-hmm. hapo ungetoa toa maneno haya hii tune kuja yeah, namna hii yes you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. yeah so it, it's a work in progress every day there's nothing wrong with teamwork mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. kuna vile kuna vile umesema kuhusu kupanga yes. na hapa ndio kuna kizungumkuti kwa sababu <laughs> unaweza kusikiza wimbo wa mtu yes. melody anayo iko sawa sana mm-hmm. na sauti pia iko sawa mm-hmm. lakini yale maneno uh, yamejaa ya me, ya sana mm-hmm. ama maybe yamesambaratika ndio ama maybe uh, ujumbe wake hauna mwelekeo hajulikani kama ana, ana sifu hajulikani kama ana shukuru hajulikani kama anaomba yes uh-huh. ako uh-huh. uko tu mm-hmm. so hata ambaye atapata the end product mm-hmm. ambao sasa ni wimbo mm-hmm. hata jo wimbo sasa mimi nita classify wapi Ndiyo. wakati ambapo nataka kuomba mm-hmm. wakati ambapo nataka kushukuru mm-hmm. kwa sababu in between huko awesha sema na kushukuru sijui mm-hmm. vitu gani mm-hmm alafu katikati yake ameweka maombi hivyo mm. benefits za mtu kuelewa hata kupanga mziki maybe mtu anaweza kuandika mm. lakini hana skills za kupanga mm-hmm. the power in teamwork i repeat mm-hmm. mziki ni kama chakula ingredients ni kadhaa ingredients umeanzia vitu vingi ukapil ukafanya nini ukaboil ukafry zingine ukaserve to the world so mimi naweza ambia mwanamuziki yote yako pale anasikiza have a flexible spirit. Nakwambia e promise keeper nilipofika studio. Part of it kuna mali you know. Na ambia Mungu aongoze hatua zako go to the right studios ama u connect with the right people mm-hmm. katika music. It's mm-hmm. it's teamwork. It's teamwork. Hata ukiwa pale aenda na wengine wamekutangulia. Pale behind the scenes kuna wazito walikuwa na mimi pale. So teamwork usiwe mchoyo. 
feel free to team up with people because <laughs> like i say god ameweka so many different and special things ndani ya kila mtu mm-hmm. so tap 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 and be the best awesome. that's the best i can say that's the best yes kulingana na wewe na unajua mtu huwa anajipima yeah una uwezo wa kujua uh-huh. mahali ambapo unaelekea na pia jinsi ambavyo umesema kwamba wewe una train vocal ni vizuri tujue una train kina nani mm-hmm. na unatembea na mtu kwa muda gani mm-hmm. ama inalingana na mtu asante sana vile umeuliza nina train kina nani mm-hmm. most of my trainings zinafanyika kan- makanisani mm-hmm. because nina train praise and worship teams mm-hmm. ninafunza pulpit grooming nafunza vocals hizo you know general just to be a, 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 a worship minister a full time worship minister alafu unajua the fact that mimi pia ni counselor I'm a counseling psychologist mm-hmm. so kuna kitu moja ningependa yoyote anatoka kanisani aelewe a worship minister ama wale wa katika present worship expectations from the congregation and the administration ya churches iko very high mm-hmm. you are always expected to be accurate to be on point to be on time ufai usikike unasema uko na shida but remember they are human i've been there for some years Remember I talked about having drifted in this depression kwa sababu ya kulengwa. Mhm. Unaela, unanielewa. Una, so um matters being a worship minister iko na responsibility kubwa na inataka a lot of care. Mm-hmm. Personal care, we teach people how to take care of yourself. Siende tu upo unapiga maalto na matena ukirudi nyumbani unaanza kulia. Some people have attempted suicide severely and they'll never make the church know. You see. So my 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 teachings go beyond vocals. Mhm your well being in a matter mm-hmm. i'm an ambassador of mental health mm-hmm. mental health mm-hmm. ni nini kinakusumbua mawazo ni nini inakushusha self esteem mm-hmm. ni nini inafanya unaona wewe si binadamu wa kutosha mm-hmm. that is i'm an ambassador of that mm-hmm. so kando na kuimba ha kila kitu hapa ukoaje mm-hmm. are you feeling comfortable mm-hmm. are you feeling okay do you feel like giving up mm-hmm. na ni nini inafanya u give up can we talk go for counseling sessions mm-hmm. brighten up team up with people mm-hmm. yeah So it, it, it's usually a whole package. Mm-hmm. Manaki unapata kuna mambo mengine. Kuna watu wengine wamejificha tu worship team lakini si hapo anafaa kuwe. Oh. Siji kama unanielewa. Oh. Eh, hey, anatafuta tu attention ndio apsimame pale mbele kwa altar. Mm-hmm. So au ndio wanakuanga the bad foxes. Mara nyingi intention yake unaona iko tofauti. Mm-hmm. Atakuja sambaradishe ile group mm-hmm. atoke hapo aende group nyingine. <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu yeye ni attention anatafuta anafurahia vile ile attention wana, macho inawaangalia watu wa lazima aonekane ala <laughs> so the intention is different mm-hmm. but Mungu amenipatia ile neema once i get into such a team we are able to help such a person awesome. na wengine wanaingia kwenye ashering wanarudi hospitality wapi ama ana change mindset na Mungu anamsaidia sasa intention yake inakuwa godly mm-hmm. in the team mm-hmm. so it's a whole package of what i do oh, so hata awesome. ukiwa kwenye facebook unaona gracious gift worship team kenya mm-hmm. Most of those are my students. Awesome. Yeah. Mnjo wakati ambapo unasema kuhusu mental health. Yeah. Ni vizuri ukaweza ku highlight areas ama katika mental health kuna kuna mambo mengi. Mm-hmm. Ni yepi ambayo yanahusu sana mwimbaji ama msanii. All right. Mm-hmm. Unajua jembe ya msanii moja ziko kadhaa but self esteem, self confidence self courage hizo zote unajua ziko zina sound same lakini ziko different kidogo mm-hmm. anything itafanya nikisimama mbele ya watu nikiona mtu akisima akismile akitabasamu pale nisifikirie ni mimi anachekelea tunaelewana mpaka hapo anything itafanya tukipitana na mtu na siseme hello nisifeel vibaya nifikirie amenidharau ile 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 insecurity uko nayo unanielewa So matters mental health kama mwimbaji hana confidence you will not deliver ukiwa pale mbele mm-hmm. you will not deliver Tupatana mpaka hapo mm-hmm. yeah so basically <laughs> mental health it's a broad topic of its own lakini ni, ni, ni vizuri mtu ajifanyie self check mm-hmm. vitu tu chap chap uh, kama your sleep iko disturbed wewe ulali vizuri watu umefunga macho lakini usingizi haikuji there's a problem your appetite imekuja sana ama imepungua there's a problem uko uko highly irritable ukiwa tu mahali unakasirika kasirika there is a problem watu wameketi kwenye timu wameambua katini kwa iko na unataka utoke hapo ukae huku heri ukae huku sikae na wale there is a problem those are just a few pointers mm-hmm. alafu kuna wale watu wa fitina sana katika team ushaiona kuna mtu mwenye akiwa pali aki akiingia watu wanasema aki hata leo angechelewa tu mm-hmm. kuja practice angechelewa tu jamii ingemfungia huko mtu kama huyo ukiangalia mara nyingi pengine ana tatizo 
you know mm-hmm. so those are just pointers za mental health as per se mm-hmm. yeah so worship minister lazima kuwe mentally upright mm-hmm. yes and so that is to mean kwamba ata emotionally upright it's a broad topic let me say mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unajua wakati ambapo tunaongea kuhusu waimbaji hata kama ni wale wa kanisani. Yes. Whatever wakati ambapo unafika pale mbele yes. na unaanza ku, ku minister. Yes. You share what you have. Unaigawa kwa watu. Absolutely. So wakati ambapo tunaleta hizi checks ni vizuri nikwambie wewe ambao unatazama check yourself mm-hmm. just check. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jiangalie tu.